Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com. In this video, I will show you how to use the PayPal mass payment inside the multi-merge digital marketplace. So what is PayPal mass payment? It is when a customer makes a purchase from your web store and the store owner receives all the money. And then the store owner distributes that money to all the sellers in one shot. So in order to show you an example of this, I'll be using PayPal Sandbox accounts. So the uh, PayPal Sandbox, by definition, is a self-contained virtual testing environment that mimics the live PayPal production environment. Basically, I'm, I'll be creating a fake PayPal accounts so that we can see how the, the money flows from one account to the next without using real money. I don't want to pay any fees. So currently I have two sellers in my store. So if I go to the back end, as you can see the sellers, I have seller one and seller two. So I'll be creating two sandbox accounts. Uh, in order to do that, you would have to go to developer.paypal.com. If you already have PayPal accounts, you can just log in using your PayPal account. Um, I'm going to use mine in this case and then click login. After you have logged in, go to the applications. And then on your right side here, it says uh, sandbox accounts. So here I already have one account, which is for the, the store owner account. So I need to create uh, two seller accounts in here. So click create account and I'm gonna leave the country at US. Account type, I'll leave that at personal. Email address, so this is the email address for the seller. So if, if I go to the back end here, uh, let's just copy and paste the first one. So seller1 at buildmyecommerce.com and then create a password for this. First name, I'm gonna leave it as seller, last name one paypal balance let's say five thousand dollars and then bank verified account yes select payment card i'm just going to leave it at discover create account so you can see here we have the first seller account let's go ahead and create the second seller account email address let's copy and paste the second one in here Password, create a password. First name, leave it as seller, last name, I'm gonna enter two, and then $5,000 balance for that. And for everything else, just uh, leave as is, and then click create account. Okay, so since we're already here, I'm just gonna go ahead and create an account for the customer who will be making purchases from the web store. So create account. And then I'm gonna enter address customer1 buildmyecommerce.com. Create a password. For the first name, we so have customer, last name, one. Balance, I'm gonna put 5,000. And then click create account. So now we have two seller accounts and one customer account, and then uh, one email address for the, the store owner. So let's go to the back end and set up the PayPal mass payment. So uh, you have to go to the extensions, modules, and then click edit next to the multi merge digital multi vendor marketplace, and then go to the finances tab here we're gonna set up the uh, paypal api information for the store owner so that when a customer makes a purchase the money goes to the store owner first so to get this api information uh, go back to the developer.paypal.com uh, so this is the uh, the store owner click profile and then go to the api credentials tab 
and for the username copy this and then username you just paste it in here API password copy this one paste it in here and then for the signature copy this and then paste it in here and make sure for the PayPal sandbox mode uh, it's clicked yes and let's just go ahead and save this next thing we have to do is go to the extensions payments next to the PayPal payment standard click edit and then for the email uh, where is the money going the money is going to the store owner so let me just copy and paste that this is the email address paste that in here sandbox mode yes transaction method sale and then this is important for the completed status make sure it's set to complete and then denied status denied and then scroll down we're next to the uh, status make sure it's enabled and then click save so that's all set uh, what we're gonna do now is have a customer purchase the digital products from the store if you can look here on the top right it says customer um, I've already logged myself in as a customer so I'm going to the uh, open card extensions here and I see the two products here and I'm gonna make purchase one of each so add to cart and then add to cart so these two digital products are from two different sellers so go to the shopping cart here click checkout okay click continue and I want to use PayPal click continue as you can see here it says warning the payment gateway is in sandbox mode your account will not be charged that's a good thing here now press confirm and here the customer would have to use their PayPal account to complete the transaction so let's log in customer one at buildmyecommerce.com and then enter the password click login and then agree and continue and then click pay now so now let's go to the back end and use the PayPal mass pay first thing you would have to do is go to multi merch sellers and we have the two sellers here and then you can see the earnings after the store owner takes the commission seller number one gets 105 bucks and then the seller two gets eighty dollars so how do I pay um, so all you have to do is check all and then click this icon here uh, sorry this one all pay via mass pay click on that and a pop-up window shows you uh, confirm the following payments so seller one store gets 105 seller two store gets 80 bucks click pay transaction successfully completed click OK now let's log in to the uh, the sandbox account and check the uh, the balance so go to the sandbox.paypal.com and then I'm going to log in as the seller number one seller one at build ecommerce.com and then click login And then let's click activity as you can see um, the seller number one received $105 from the the store owner so let's log out and log back in as a seller number two so seller two and as you can see the seller number two received $80 from the store owner and that is how you use PayPal MassPay um, I hope you found this video helpful 
don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have any questions please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have